Hello, and welcome to Who Wants to Be an ASMR Millionaire. On today's episode, you are the contestant for Who Wants to Be an ASMR Millionaire. You will answer 15 questions, and if you continue to the next level, um, through all 15 questions, you will win a million dollars. You'll have three lifelines today. Phone a friend, ask the audience, and 50-50. So when you want to use those, let me know and we can use those. Are you ready to begin? Great. Okay. So our first question for 100 dollars is Hawaiian Punch was originally developed in 1934 as a tropical flavored A. Suntan lotion B. Dog treat C. Sugar substitute D. Ice cream topping And that was A, sun tan lotion, B, dog treat, C, sugar substitute, or D, ice cream topping. Okay, so is that your final answer? Okay, D, ice cream topping is correct. Nice job. Go on to the next question for Two hundred dollars. For two hundred dollars, J was once slang for. So when a pedestrian ignored street signs, they were a jaywalker. Does J mean a a juggling acrobat yawning? B a bird. C. A man who is blind or D. A foolish person and that was A. A juggling acrobat yawning B. A bird C. A man who is blind or D. A foolish person Is that your final answer? Good. D is correct. J means a foolish person. Great job! We're going on to three hundred dollars. For three hundred, we have the question. In David Hasselhoff's divorce settlement, he retained possession of the nickname Hoff. And the catchphrase was A don't hassle the Hoff. B. Hoff will be there. C. The Hoffmeister reigns. Or D. I love you, Kit. So is that your final answer? Okay. A. Don't hassle the Hoff is correct. Going on to $500. Or five hundred dollars. According to a study done at the University of Leicester, the milk yield of cows increases when they're a not being tipped over, b mooing, c in a warm barn, or d listening to relaxing music. Okay, so you would like to ask the audience? Yeah, okay. So I will reread that question so our audience can hear it again. And then audience members, can you please grab your clickers? Okay, so the question is, according to a study done 
at the University of Leicester, the milk yield of cows increases when they're A. Not being tipped over B. Mooing C. In a warm barn or D. Listening to relaxing music So, audience, please go ahead and put in your answers Alright, the results are in and it looks like the top answer was D, listening to music then it was C, in a warm barn then it was B, mooing and A, not being tipped over was the answer with the least amount of votes so what would you choose as your final answer? D? Okay. D is correct. Very nice. Okay, so now we're going to move on to a thousand dollars. In colonial America, blank was not a delicacy. It was actually so cheap and plentiful that it was often served to prisoners. Was that food A. Lobster B. Truffles C. Caviar or D. Foie Gras So A. Lobster Is that your final answer? Awesome, you are correct Moving on to Two thousand dollars for two thousand dollars between nineteen hundred and nineteen twenty. Blink was an Olympic event. Was it A sack race? B egg on a spoon? C three legged race? Or D tug of war? Is that your final answer? D is correct. Tug of War was an Olympic event between 1900 and 1920. For 4,000. In 1989, Walmart pulled blank off the shelves after a woman claimed it burned her mouth. But after testing it, it was restocked because it turns out that's just how it tastes. Do you think the item that was pulled off the shelves was A. Tabasco sauce B. Red Hot Cinnamon Imperials C. Listerine or D. Spicy V8 Juice Okay, you want me to reread that? Okay. In 1989, Walmart pulled blank off the shelves after a woman claimed it burned her mouth. But after testing, it was restocked because it turns out that's just how it tastes. Was it A. Tabasco sauce B. Red Hot Cinnamon Imperials C. Listerine or D. Spicy V8 juice Okay, you want to do 50-50? Okay, so your two answers are left that are A, Tabasco sauce or C, Listerine C is correct Congratulations, you just won $4,000 now on to eight thousand. For eight thousand, George Washington insisted his Continental Army be permitted a quart of blank as a part of their daily rations. A. 
melted chocolate, B, beer, C, gravy, D, goat's milk. So the choices again were A, melted chocolate, B, beer, C, gravy, D, goat's milk. Okay, is that your final answer? You are correct. It is B, beer. You just won $8,000. For $16,000, Dep, no, Dep, no phobia is the fear of A, cell phone battery depletion, B, car door dance, Dance, C. Police sirens, or D. Dinner conversations. Okay, you'd like me to repeat that? Okay. So that was depnophobia is the fear of A. Cell phone battery depletion, B. Car door dance, C. Police sirens, or D. Dinner conversations. Okay, is that your final answer? Right. D is correct. Congratulations, you just won $16,000. We're getting up there. Right. For $32,000, your next question is. First item sold on eBay was a A collector of this exact thing bought for fourteen dollars and eighty three cents. Was it A a used Toyota air filter? B Millie Vanilli concert ticket stop? C broken laser pointer? Or D, ink stained sweater. Okay. Okay, so you're having trouble with this one? Would you like to use one of your lifelines? Okay, so you've already used Ask the Audience. Which lifeline would you like to use? The phone? Okay. Because one of your friends uses eBay a lot. Okay, so who would you like to call? Okay, your brother? Okay, so we'll go ahead and call your brother. Great, hi. So we have um, your brother here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Um, and your brother is at $32,000. He needs some help from you. So, the question that he's kind of stumped on is the first item sold on eBay was a blank. A collector of this exact thing bought for $14.83. What was this item? A. A used Toyota filter. B. A Milli Vanilli concert ticket stub. C. A broken laser pointer or D. Ink stained sweater What do you think it was? Okay, so you're in between Millie Vanilli Concert and broken laser pointer Okay, so we're gonna go with C Okay, is that your final answer? You are correct. You just won your brother $32,000. Great. We're getting up there. The next question is for $64,000. Are you ready? Okay. Right. Which of the following items was owned by the fewest 
U.S. homes in 1990. A. A home computer. B. Compact disc player. C. Cordless phone. Or D. Dishwasher. And that was in 1990. <laughs> and it was the fewest U.S. homes. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Great! B. Compact disc player is correct! Nice job, you just won! $64,000! We're getting into the hundred thousands now. So your next question will be for $125,000. This question is, what did the D in D-Day stand for? A. Doom B. Day C. Dwight Eisenhower Or D. Dunkirk Can we read it? Yes. What did the D in D-Day stand for? A. Doom B. Day C. Dwight Eisenhower or D. Dunkirk? Okay. Is that your final answer? Yes. You are correct. It is B. Day. So D. Day stands for Day Day. Congratulations. We're getting up there. All right. Your next question is for $250,000. Are you ready? Great. Which of these was Mozart's middle name? A. Homer B. Wolfgangus C. Johannes or D. Amdas Okay. So... Let me reread it for you. Which of these was Mozart's middle name? A. Homer B. Wolfgangus C. Johannes D. Amtus Okay, you think it's B because it's so... That's such a weird name? Okay. Yeah, B is correct. You just won 250 thousand dollars. Congratulations. You're doing amazing. Right, our next question for five hundred thousand and you are two questions away from winning one million dollars. Are you ready? Great. Right. For five hundred thousand dollars, which United States president is most to the left on the Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Is it A. Thomas Jefferson B. George Washington C. Abraham Lincoln or D. Theodore Roosevelt Okay, okay so you know it's not Abraham Lincoln. Okay, so that eliminates one of your options. Do you want me to reread it without so the question for $500,000 is Which U.S. president is most to the left on the Mount Rushmore National Memorial? A. Thomas Jefferson B. George Washington and D. Theodore Roosevelt I'm gonna go with B. George Washington Is that your final answer? Okay, you are correct. You just won five hundred thousand dollars. Right, and for our million dollar question, congratulations for getting this far. Are you ready? Okay. For one million dollars, what color was Coca-Cola originally? 
A, red, B, purple, C, black, D, green. Me to reread it? Okay. For one million dollars, what color was Coca Cola originally? A. Red. B. Purple. C. Black. D. Green. Okay, is that your final answer? Okay, this is for one million dollars. And you're saying it was D, green? Okay, D, green is correct. Congratulations, you just won one million dollars. And you are a millionaire. Congratulations. Thank you for playing today. And I hope you enjoy your million dollars. Good night.